Hello everyone. Hello India. Hello Didak. <laughs> um, I'm really happy that you came to listen to my speech. Uh, it's so um, nice to have you here. I'm really honored. Uh, my name is Isabella. I come from Europe, from Poland, from one of the most beautiful cities all over the world, the city of Gdańsk. So today I was supposed to talk about lifelong education and share with you my opinions uh, what is in worth to invest in. So <coughs> I wanted to ask you a question actually. Are you familiar with the idea about lifelong uh, education? You know what it means. Okay, so I will share you. Um, I will share with you my um, opinion. What uh, it really means. So, in my in my opinion, um, it's actually a permanent self development that you build up on your basic um, education that you have. You can develop your skills upon on this what you were educated. Um, Nowadays, actually, you know, the, the world is changing. It's a, we live in a permanent change. Hmm? The technology is entering almost every single um, aspect of our life. We might choose to keep developing as well. We might not. I am in a group of people that want to keep developing, to be updated. So, uh, I hope this is clear. So, uh, now the question is, what is worth to invest in? Investment very often is associated with the money, right? But investment can be also time, engagement and effort. So, today I would like to um, share with you um, two my two thoughts, insights about what is worth to invest in. And I'm not um, thinking about money investment. That two thoughts are actually costless. They cost only your time, they cost your honesty and your engagement. So first one, it's a time that you will Spend with yourself to ask yourself to find out or maybe to evaluate or to verify what are your innate internal skills, competences, what you are really good at. And then if you combine it with your passion or passions, then you build up on it in terms of your development and education. Let me give you an example to make it really clear. So when I was a, a student in a high school, I was organizing all the time something. That was tours, events for my family, friends, schoolmates. Then um, when I started my studies, I actually, you know, we had a three months holiday. The holiday in Poland lasts three months. So I, as I love traveling, I wanted to keep traveling, but I couldn't afford it financially. So I was wondering, well, I love traveling. I am very good at organizing. I love logistics. I love scheduling. I love planning. So I came up with an, with an idea to get a um, tour guide license. <laughs> and I did. So I started traveling. And you know, being a tour guide, it's not really pure fun. I mean, it's a great fun. But psychology, uh, leadership, accountancy, problem solving, um, teamwork, all of this comes together. Well, I paid for the license, but I got so many extra skills that I could actually develop in action. That was not theory. I was leading a group of hundreds of people. Um, 
and um, basically the idea for of, for my traveling was just for this uh, for the for the university time then i kept developing this what i really liked so i didn't study more i didn't took any courses on psychology i will tell you later what happened but now let's go to the second part as the second part of the speech comes um, so the second um, let's say item or thing that in my opinion it's worth to um, invest in and it's again out of costs it's building your relationships you know uh, there are people that are really um, natural in building relationships there are lots of people that struggle but I truly believe that there is a simple methodology how to build relationship successfully and keep them for a long time the relationships that you have they can support you in your private and professional life so that's are those two things investigating realizing evaluating what are your innate skills and keep developing them and the other one building the relationships uh, if you are interesting i would lovely and eagerly share with you the tools that we use at fnx to <coughs> develop those skills that I mentioned, leadership, teamwork, problem solving, um, cultural sensitivity, um, managing the um, different international teams, um, diverse, diversity, uh, and relationship building. Um, and I think that I can share with you my third thought. Um, as I told you at the beginning, I am in a group of people that want to develop myself. I want to keep developing. I want to move forward. So let's um, never settle. Let's never give up with learning new things. You never know when you will use those skills, th this knowledge. Thank you very much.